someone just asked me what i wanted for lunch and oops i told i just wanted comics and here we have the entire dining table filled with comics so this video is dedicated to 2020 a year in which i took the liberty of diving deep into lot of comics that i love and also collecting as much as i can from all across the world which you can see piled up all around in this huge dining table right well i can always show them in a showcase or any of those stuff but i thought that this will be really cool to show how all of this look when that's what is served for lunch so guys so this is what i'm showing you is my single issue haul from 2020 although it's not the entire single issues but as much as i have with me today is what i'm going to show you in this very very specially dedicated video for single issues in 2020 so watch out So when I'm making the video, the biggest question I have in mind is where do I start and where do I end? Because there are so many uh, books to show you and I don't know how much patience you guys have to watch the entire video. But let's quickly get it done with. I'm just going to run you through all the comics and just the covers that they have so that you don't get too bored. So this is Dark Knight Flyer part 3 of 3. I don't have any idea what this book is around. And this one is Conan, Conan the Legend from Dark Horse Comics, it's number zero. I think it's one of the origin issues of Conan. We have a legendary uh, Todd McFarlane cover, a reprint. This is printed by Battle Express. To get the original of this comic uh, is pretty difficult because it's one of the most famous covers of DC of all times. And this got reprinted in a Spawn version as well later on by Todd. This is one of my favorite covers. It's called The City of Bane. I think this is the issue number 51 if I'm not wrong. This is the issue right after uh, the wedding, uh, the Bat Cat wedding. So I'm just waiting to jump, jump right into it. It's by Tony S. Daniel. You could see the signature there. Oh, I, I could go on and on and about this cover. I simply love it. Okay, the next one we have here is this is a cover from the new 52 run of Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. I think this is one of the most favorite covers from that run for me. And I very recently got it. And on the other side, you have one more cover of that. Right? This is issue number four. And the other one is issue number six. Cool. What's next? Okay, we have a cover of Justice. I have started collecting Justice because uh, the Justice covers are done by Alex Ross, even the book is done by Alex Ross and I simply love to collect whatever has Alex Ross in it. So that way it's a brilliant cover right in front of me. Again, another Alex Ross covers. This is uh, the Countdown to Infinite Crisis. It's an 80 page special and uh, well, you can all guess who is the person in Batman's hand uh, who is dead and uh, the entire Justice League is watching. Uh, what's happening there the brilliance of Alex Ross shows through and through in this cover again next one is Batman Legends of Dark Knight Destiny it's called I it, it looks kind of like a very fat Batman don't know who he is we have another Legends of the Dark Knight this is Blades 
again this is part two of three james robinson and tim sale is another artist here we go back once more into justice and this is an awesome cover it has bizarro and he is holding superman and i think that's lex luthor i don't have any idea who else is there in this book but uh, this is issue number four uh, of justice by alex ross and this one is batman gotham after midnight looks like a horror kind of story i don't have any idea the the in the the sad part of some of these issues that i have guys is that i don't have the entire run i just have few issues right but but what i find interesting is that it gives me a glimpse of the story and if that's a very interesting story then i can go and definitely pick up a trade paperback to follow it up this is called aftershock shadow of the bat i don't i think this this is after um so there's a there's a story in which i think this is right before no man's land when uh, the city uh, i mean whoever wanted to leave the gotham city were given a chance to leave it i think this is that story i love the cover again very realistic kind of artwork there spawn this is spawn number 16 i have few spawn issues i simply love the cover i'm not a great fan of the story arc of spawn um still but um Todd McFarlane is one of my favorite artists so I don't miss out if I get an option to get it. So this is a dollar comic of uh, Justice League uh, from New 52. I simply loved the first book of that uh, Justice League Origin um, and it was done by Jeff Jones and uh, Jim Lee and that's why I got this one just a memorabilia of sorts. We have Shadow of the Bat the last Arkham number 1 really cool cover there. um it looks like the same guy like um, clones of him who's holding batman back and on the other side we have another dollar comic of flash a rebirth so yep let's see how far i can stretch and get the next one this is batman and robin eternal i have not read this series before let's see what it holds okay another one batman and robin eternal number 3 Let's do one thing. Let's move some spots and move to another spot because this is too much to get everything in one spot and show you guys. Okay. Sorry for the noise. I'm just shifting my chairs. We have another brilliant cover of Alex Ross Wonder Woman there and the claws of Cheetah coming out. Oh, wow. Just just how exquisite is that? This is number 5. And we have another one this is by Ed Brubaker, Batman 602 Okay Bruce Wayne goes to Washington I think this is when the no man's this is a prelude to no man's land the Abraham Lincoln bust behind Batsy another one of my favorite cover uh whenever joker is there in the cover that's one thing which I try to get as much as I can but here you also have none other than atom in joker's eye really intriguing to see what the story is about but as far as i know this is something in which atom has to enter joker's brain to save him or something like that this one is interesting this is the previews for batman superman and you have batman who laughs in the background and on the other side you have batman so this is a this this came out like a an issue um i think this was covers of two different comics Uh, fortunately in the preview they gave me both in one so i'm happy to get that let's pull shadow of the bat convergence and uh, i've read couple more um, i think singles from here this is when batman and um, azrael partners together for something and we have another dollar comic of batman number 497 which is breaking of the bat the legendary story Yep. From Nightfall and we have another awesome cover. I think again this one is Batman versus Bane. Um yeah, Bane looks a lot different in this one. This is um I think it's after math of Forever Evil. So this is when the villains take over the entire DC universe. I think it's kind of that story arc and Batman once he returns he wants to take back Gotham. This is uh the many deaths of batman very curious cover uh, i will be definitely be looking forward to reading what's in it uh, okay it has by an apario di carlo some great 
comic guys there and then we have Marvel Comics presents Conan the Adventurer this is an embossed cover if you guys can see it okay let's let's jump more let's oh okay we have a horizontal cover now that's Batman Superman and I think it's Mongol in the background for those of you guys who know Mongol and we have another one yeah the rage of Mongol number six this one is uh, number seven yeah this is a team up story again we have another one this is uh, a different one I think this is part of the first six issues wherein this uh, artist I think Jay Lee was the artist and here it's Brett Booth who's the artist that's why the difference you could clearly see uh, in this uh, covers when we move cool what else we have again another one this is number three and you could see dark side there let's bring another justice cover just to make it more interesting wow that's a hawkman cover alex ross again some brilliant artwork there cool see i am enjoying my lunch from all walks possible okay let's go to this side and see what we have in store we have batman and death in the family this is the story in which jason todd dies nothing new there dc previews death stroke strikes batman yeah it's a new one i've not opened it again we have dollar comics justice league of america it looks like jim lee artwork it's by melzer by the way cool let's move on let's move fast let's show you everything before the day ends this is a famous cover from hush storyline poster child for crime yeah this is when harley quinn and um, catwoman take on each other this one is night quest the crusade of commissioner gordon come on come on make it fast i know robin rises alpha i think this is when um, robin returns damien wine he comes back to life and on the back we have batman the mad monk dark moon rising we have a marvel okay it's very rare to come through a Marvel in my collection. Wolverine through the years, he's one of my most favorite characters in the Marvel universe. If I just need to pick one guy, I think he will, I'll pick this guy. Again, what do we have here? Dollar Comics, JLA. This is the Grand Morrison run, if I'm not wrong. And on the other side, we have Legends of the Dark Knight. Yep, number one. Cool, what do we have? Now we are finishing. We have Batgirl. Something to do with Green Arrow. We have another Batgirl cover. This is from Bat Wayne, Bat Bruce Wayne Fugitive. For those of you guys who know that story, that's when they put Bruce Wayne in jail for killing somebody. And uh, yeah, this is Zero R. Yeah, oh, that's a very interesting car. Homage to the original um, Bruce Wayne, sorry, Batman origin story. And the last but not the least. Uh, yeah, who else can forget Joker? Uh, this is a classic cover where you have Batman and Joker fighting it out. It's called Going Sane, Legends of the Dark Knight. So that's where we'll end it, guys. I hope you really like this tour. Uh, I didn't want to simply show it like, like any other random video, but wanted to make it more experiential. I hope you will really like that. So that's my 2020 haul uh, of single issues. And... Um, I have a, a haul of all the trade paperbacks that I collected in 2020 coming up very soon. So until next time, Street Smart Joker signing off and please do subscribe and like so that we can all enjoy a lot, lot, lot more comics in 2021. Bye-bye.